Hi everyone, it's The English Simmer here, and it's been just over a year now since we got infants in The Sims 4. Obviously, they dropped just before growing together, and in the time that I've been playing as these little critters, I've realized they actually may be a very good money-making scheme. So today, we're gonna see how many simoleons we can make off the back of infants. I have aged down some iconic townies. I'll give you a few seconds to see if you can guess who they are. Oh, but they're so uh, cute. Obviously, we have little baby Bella Goth over here who just keeps staring at Bob. The tension is palpable. What is going on between these two? Why do they have beef? Tell your boyfriend that I'm a vegetarian and I am scared of him. And then, of course, we have the one and only Vladdy. And he also just farted. Delightful. However, the true daddy of this video is Mr. Don Lothario. He is gonna be the person who is looking after these infants. I obviously did just have him make some breakfast. I want to kind of cover all of my bases while they're actually feeling pretty good. We're actually gonna go put Bella on the little play mat and then the boys are kind of just chilling. Maybe I should, oh, I was gonna be like, maybe I should buy a second play mat. But I can't because we're on zero simoleons. This is basically a rags to riches, even though we already fully have a house. Now the backbone of this challenge, the item that carried the base game on its back for years. If you played The Sims 4 in 2014, how could you ever forget this icon? She helped you out so much at the beginning of this game and I know you know it. It is the electronic bin that actually when you put rubbish in it, it actually actually it gives you money back. Now this does cost 1,200 simoleons, but it's the basis of this challenge. So obviously I treated Don Lothario to it. I do imagine that he is the type of man that will just like spend money frivolously on technology, especially if it makes him look better. Baby Belle, can you, oh, you can't even like look at your toys. Oh, she's currently looking at her toys. Now we do have an intense infant in Vlad. So he's actually locked away in my room because I don't want him to constantly keep the other two awake because Bella I'm fairly sure is a sunny infant and then Bob is a calm infant. Can one of you actually use your nappy because that's what's gonna start earning us money. Although Bob is hungry and I feel like we should have fed him before we put him down to sleep but he just needs a cheeky little nap. She is already needing to use the toilet which is great and Vlad needs to be fed. So uh, we're going to ask Don if he could give us a bottle. Bottles and nappies are definitely going to be the key to the beginning of this challenge. With the bin, I don't know how much bottles and nappies actually earn us. I think it's like 50 simoleons a pop, but I have not really used this all that much recently. And even when I have, I haven't really been paying attention to how much we get paid. We got 40 simoleons for one bottle, which is great. Is she going to try going night night. Bella, can I just feed you first? She's got a good appetite. I thought that she had like thrown up on Don, but she just did a uh, little burp. It was a very uh, dainty burp. Another bottle for us, another 40 simoleons in the bag. Now my aim is to get to 250 simoleons as quickly as possible because when we actually reach that, if we go to the phone and then social, if I could find it, if we plan a social event, obviously in growing together, we did get the introduction of baby showers. And now the thing about baby showers is you don't actually like need to be pregnant. You don't need to have like adopted a child recently or like added someone into the family recently. All you have to do is host one. So there's absolutely nothing stopping you from just throwing these over and over again. And I figured tying baby showers into this, people are gonna bring us gifts, right? Like that's why I love about the growing together events. I wish that they would update like all birthday parties and stuff in the game to actually work the way that the growing together events does. So anything that they provide me 
for a future baby, for a toddler or an infant, I'm also gonna make money off because we can just sell it instantly because our house is pretty much already set up. I mean, you could also do this in like a traditional Rex to Riches scenario where you have nothing to your name. And obviously you could just like repeatedly throw those parties. Bella, can you go to sleep please? Why are you still awake? Try and go night night. Look, you've woken up your brother. Oh, she is a self soother though. Actually, to be fair, Bob hasn't been fed. Everyone else has. So we're going to feed him. He is the one who's going to grow up to be a foodie. Imagine if he doesn't get good eater quirk. I will be shocked. Oh my word, Don's going to be an intellectual. We don't even have a TV in this house. So we just have it straight bookcases. I was going to actually place him down on the play mat, but I think we might do some tummy time with Bob. Where did that bottle go? So is it in your inventory? No, that's 40 small ends. Never mind. I found it. Right. 120. We're close to throwing that baby shower. Do I want her to come over? Probably not. I feel like she's gonna cock it up. I feel like she's gonna mess up the system. We all know that Vlad's gonna come alive at night. And I'm actually terrified for that fact. Bob's fallen asleep on his front. Oh my goodness. Start as you mean to go on in life. The amount of times I've had grown up Bob pancakes just like fall flat on his face to fall asleep. Oh, I can't believe Don is being such a doting father. It's actually a little bit airy. Like I never ever expected this from him. <gasps> Our first nappy, uh, heck yes. Another 40 simoleons. Okay, so I feel like 40 simoleons is just like the default. I feel like that's all it's gonna give you. I reckon by tomorrow we could have enough to throw our very first baby shower. Oh, she has nappy rash. An itchy burning sensation is irritating, Bella, Don, change that child quickly. I don't want that to get any worse. Keep in mind, if you want to do this challenge, definitely get the baby table that doesn't have the bin next to it or else the nappies will like automatically go in there. Vlad, why are you so obsessed with me? I'm trying to take care of Bella. Don, where the hell have you been, loca? See, they just deliciously fall on the floor, ready for me to trade in for my simoleons. <gasps> We've already got enough money. We have one bottle right here. I do think it would be a little bit suspicious though if we were to throw a baby shower at 10 p.m. So we're gonna throw it tomorrow instead. Right, it's second day and I feel like Don is definitely gonna need a kick up the bum. He's gonna need something to encourage him to get these babies ready for their big day. So we're gonna plan the event. We're not just gonna throw it as a spur of the moment thing. He's been thinking about this as have I been thinking about doing this video for a very, very long time. The expecting parent is absolutely Don Lothario, 100%. Um, we need to go out and meet some guests. Oh shoot, I forgot that we needed fellow adults. We need to join a parenting club. Oh uh, my word, we can literally just invite anyone. Bella, it's okay, you don't have to cry. We're gonna be taking care of you. I just have to take care of my needs first. He might be wanting money, but Don cares about himself first and foremost. Who's hungrier? Uh, definitely you. Do you want a plasma fruit? Do you want a blood packet? It's almost Bob's birthday. No, it's not. Don't go and give Bella your attention first. Vlad has literally been crying in the corner of the room this whole time. Ugh, show off. Bella, you are being a little bit dramatic now. You haven't stopped crying the whole morning. Not Don already trying to win over his friends and I got the option to show off baby pictures straight away to Jeffrey. We're gonna introduce you to Bob as well, considering Bob is the only one awake right now. Where did you, why are you trying to hide bottles from me? Don, I'm doing this for you. You're the one who wants money. Oh. Oh uh, my goodness, Kayla wasn't joking when she made infants are still broken. All he wants to do is pay attention to his kids. Nobody else matters, not even money. Don, this isn't the man that I made you to be. It's definitely gonna be at our house. It's gonna be at 2 p.m. Boom, 250 simoleons. I hate this game. The routing is literally getting just as bad as it was in The Sims 3. 
what are you doing? Leave him in his chat. Are you gonna give it to him? There we go. Thank you. Bob was unsure about ice cream. Oh, Bob. You know what? Being a messy eater definitely adds up. Oh, it's so gross. The drool as well really, really sells it, Bob. Hi, Bess. Sorry, I can't get any money from you. I'm actually just profiting off my children right now. Right, where are all of my guests? Why are they all waiting outside? Why did none of them uh, guess the new baby's future career? <laughs> I feel like we have to get a new infant, but this house doesn't really have enough room for another one. I can't even squeeze another crib in here. I'm just waiting for someone to give me a present. So we're on 310 simoleons right now. Great. Everyone's just having their first blowouts. Yes, Jeffrey, it's a child. She's only just pooed, okay? What a wonderful idea. I would be so proud. Oh, 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 okay. All the balloons. This isn't a gender reveal. Calm down. I don't care about the gender of my baby. Are you about to give me a gift? Is that why I shifted on in closer to you? No, apparently not. Watch it. I'm probably not even going to get any presents because I'm just going to have to be looking after the children instead of interacting with my guests. They can't poo shame you. You're just an infant. Gush about new baby. Under small talk? Look, they might be a small little creature, but they're absolutely not small talk, I would say. We're just going to gush about baby twice over. Barco is not excited for this baby. I don't think he believes us. He's like, I'm on to you, Don Lothario. I know that you aren't planning to have a new baby. Who do you think you're kidding? Can I technically, considering this is a baby shower now, this whole video, I haven't made money off their plates, but I feel like because this is part of the event, it's still technically making money off infants. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Right, instead of eating me out of house and home, I'm glad I finished that sentence with house and home. Can you instead give me presents for my future children? Because that's why I invited you all. Why have none of you given me a single gift? I should have invited Kyle. I feel like every time Kyle shows up, he brings a present. Daddies. Are we done? Do we take three photos? Yeah, we need to dance. Oh no, I need to spend money on a radio. Oh God, I just woke them all up because I turned this on. I'm so sorry. Marcel gave me a present. Oh, did you give me a grave? Sir? No, right. We're gonna have a little boogie. There we go. Use celebration cannon. Oh my goodness. This always sets on fire for me and I don't even know how much it is. The fires do seem to be a canon event. We're gonna get the little frog one because it's my favorite. It also looks like one of the pea shooters. Do they have a version that is plants versus zombies? This is absolutely, oh, oh, okay. That went well. It didn't set on fire. Woo, yeah. Let me just steal that plate. Thank you, Mila Munch for munching on my food. This is gonna be a pile of poo. I feel it in my bones. I just know that this is gonna be atrocious. We're not gonna check out any of the gifts yet. Epic baby name. Totally adding that one to the list. Think of all the cute nicknames. Don't get me wrong, I love this event. I want more events like this in the game. I do wish that you got like a little notification to be like, oh, this person suggested this baby name and this person suggested like this career for your child to get into. I just think it would make it like a little bit more realistic and actually give the player some like advice or like inspiration on maybe inspiration on how uh, they wanted the kid to like grow up. Stop ignoring Bob. Why are you feeding him? Look at Bob. He's literally just sat here like, please, sir, can I have some more? He's so sad. <laughs> And Mila's just like, oh my goodness, that baby is hideous. If this doesn't sum up playing with infants, I don't know what does. That is a Renaissance painting in The Sims 4. Absolutely flipping incredible. Bob, I'm so sorry. I've literally asked him so many times to feed you. Such a joyful celebration. Before the launch into parenthood, exciting preparations can be found in your household inventory. So I think that's like a little bit more fun for us. Extras as a treat. We got some bunny loves you and we got the 
cute critter rattle. I'm fairly sure those were our two presents. And then we got this crib, which I mean, we did just swindle these Sims and we're not having a new one. So that's 150 simoleons. That's 60 simoleons. That's another 60 simoleons. I mean, that's not bad. We could definitely do another baby shower, meet some more Sims and get like more presents. I think I've broken the save. For some reason, Don just is not feeding Bob pancakes. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, uh, and now you do it. You cave under the pressure of being watched. I've had him try to do that for the last three hours. How this isn't getting me the suspicious sentiment, I do not know because we've re-invited people that have already been here to celebrate one baby shower with us and now we've just called them back. No new baby in the household whatsoever. I just feckin' love that there's no restriction on this. Right, let's, it's time to gush about our non-existent baby. Oh, Oh my goodness, Moira, you can stay. Let me take some photos with you. I want to keep that memory forever. Not even everyone turned up that we invited, but we do have the gays this time around. We have Dolly, we have Brent, we have Brent. No, do not get distracted by Brittany. Shirt. Where even is she? She's all the way over there, the little weirdo. What's she doing? Yeah, you haven't been invited to this party because you're a celebrity and I do don't know you. Guess the new career. What's this one gonna be? A writer? Yeah, because it's gonna have a wild imagination, just like yours, because this baby doesn't even exist. You could say they're gonna have their father's imagination. I like how I've really preyed on all the parents of this game as well. Everyone I've invited is someone that I think has money or is like a parent themselves. I'm really tugging at the heartstrings. Don Lothario knows how this goes. I'm gonna go in here because most people are in here and hopefully we can receive some more gifts. They really haven't been on it. I feel like in the past when I've thrown baby showers, I've had like four, five, six gifts. Whereas these lot are being so feckin' stingy. Ooh, Dom. Thank you, Angel. I appreciate that gift. See? That's what everyone should be doing. Don, stand up. If you're gonna receive gifts, you need to be one working. Ooh, who is this? Dylan. Oh my god, Dylan, you look so different without your glasses on. I only know Dylan Sigworth in that one everyday outfit. I am face blind to him in any other scenario. I would see him walking down the street and I wouldn't know a thing. Oh my god, Moira again. Okay, this is what we needed to do. We just needed to be stood up and just kind of like idling so that people could give us presents. I think... Bob? 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 Bob, are you okay? Bob, what's happening? My baby! Why is he sleeping like that? It all got too much for Mr. Pancakes. Another gold. And we reached charisma level four. We flew up that charisma. Level five? What is happening? That all just came from having a baby shower. That was absolutely unreal. I got more than three, surely. Where are all of my presents? Maybe they went into my personal inventory. I mean, we'll sell all of these again. Let me check out our personal inventory and see if we have anything. <gasps> there they are. They've been chilling. Okay, here we go. This is where the money rolls in. 90 simoleons, 70 simoleons, 35, 55, 100. Damn, we went over a grand on just infants. That is impeccable. Honestly, great performance, Don. I truly feel like you deserve an Oscar. I mean, to be fair, you have been quite good at looking after these babies. I really wasn't expecting it from you. So this isn't a get rich quick scheme. You're not gonna be hiring all these infants into your multi-level marketing scheme. One, they could end up extremely glitched like Mr. Bob Pancakes. 
And it's also not super fast. Like, obviously, you have to take care of the infants. I would say this bin is definitely the way to go if you're planning on doing a challenge like this. But that was honestly more simoleons than I thought we would make just off baby showers and, like, dirty nappies alone. So thank you, children, for supporting your father. I now know what they mean when they say child support. And thank you all so, so much for being here and watching this whole video through even through my children's cries. Let me know if you do this little experiment in your game and how much you actually ended up earning. But I appreciate you all and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now.